Hello everyone, it's Emma and welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about something that I wanted to talk about for a while, but I was waiting until I had enough to talk about them. And that is sustainable undergarments. We have several different brands to dive into today, so let's just go ahead and get right into it. If I talk a little bit too fast for you, you can change the speed with the gear icon right down here. First up, we have Madi Body. I talk about them a lot for period underwear, but they also make some styles of regular underwear as well. I'm not sure if they make more than this style, honestly. They sent these to me probably two years ago, and they've never sent me more styles, but I hate them. So the actual fabric itself is really comfortable. It's breathable. It's nice. Oh. This one's starting to wear out right here. Yeah, you can see that spot. Period underwear, we're doing the same thing. So overall, I'm like not terribly impressed with the quality because I don't wear these a lot either because I don't like them. Look at the size of these. They're truly granny panties. They're high-waisted, but also look at this waistband. Absolutely folded over. It's supposed to be like this, which is still really thin, but it just naturally collapses. Maybe if I like ironed it or something, but honestly with that thin waistband, it just cuts into my skin so badly. So that paired with it's so high waisted, like when I sit down, it's just so uncomfortable. So if they make other styles, I would recommend their other styles because I like the fabric. I like their sustainability, but this style, is just really not good. This one's doing the same thing with the waistband. So I will put the materials and the price on for each brand right here so you can compare them for yourself. Let's move on. I cut all the tags out, so I always forget which brand they are unless they're printed onto the underwear. This is another brand. I'll find it and I'll leave the brand name with the price and everything right here, but I love this one. I can't believe I don't know the name of it because I love it. It's like slightly high-waisted. It's like a brief, but it's really, really comfortable because Look at this waistband. It's a really, really thick waistband that doesn't cut into your skin, super comfortable. We'll also talk about wedgie factor because that's important for me. I don't know about any of you. The Madi Bodies, no wedgie. They're truly full coverage. These are also full coverage, no wedgie, and really nice and stretchy, really breathable. This is probably one of my favorite brands. I've got a couple pair from Nikki, but they rebranded. They have a new name now, again, right here, because I don't remember the name of it. They have really like nice, skin tones, earth tones. I really, really like their colors, really like their fabric. They're nice and breathable. I believe I have two pair of their brief ones and both of them kind of give wedgies. They have a pretty good, this is the band that goes around your legs. It's pretty good. It's not nearly as wedgieable as some of these other ones that we'll talk about, but overall this is one of my favorite ones as well. And even though it's a thin waistband, it's really, really stretchy. So I have never minded this really thin waistband and I love both my pair from Nikki. Moving on to Pact, this one is probably one of my least favorites because even though it is a true brief, it looks like it would be full coverage, doesn't it? It's not. This one always gives me wedgies, so I never wear this pair. But overall, again, this one's very nice material, very breathable. It seems to be lasting quite a long time. Nice and stretchy in the waist. Wedgie factor is pretty high on this one. Another one that really, really caused me wedgies is Whamma. It's very, very cute. This is bikini. Nice waistband, nice fabric. I believe it's made out of hemp. It's so soft and so breathable. It feels like really high quality, but this one too, man, there's like no elastic in the thighs and it really, really gives me major wedgies. I don't wear these ones that often, but overall I love the brand. This is probably one of my favorite brands just because we do focus on sustainability a lot. They're really high quality. I just wish that they didn't cause quite as big of wedgies. I've also got a pair from Girlfriend Collective. Now these are definitely more like sporty. I don't know if you can tell that on the camera, but these are more spandex type and the rest of these are like cotton hemp feel. Recycled polyester, so that's cool. I really like this specific style because it is like a no-show. There's no seams, which makes it really, really comfortable and nice if you're wearing like tight pants. I love these for working out as well, but these do give a little bit of a wedgie. Here's the back again. They're pretty full coverage. I do notice that I have quite a bit of wedgies in these as well. And then the last underwear brand today is from Allbirds. They also had an annoying tag and I cut it too low. So that's my own fault. I just really wish that brands didn't have tags in the butt crack. Is that too much to ask for? Apparently it is, because almost all of these brands had it. Really, really stretchy, really durable, breathable. Actually, I'm not sure how durable these would be. They're kind of thin. Can you see my face through there? I can see you through there. Pretty full coverage. There's the back. They didn't give me that many wedgies. I would say my favorite are Nikki and this brand, followed by Allbirds and Girlfriend, and then Emma, 
packed and Mati Body is my least favorite. Okay, on to bras. The first one we're going to be talking about is Reprise. This is a really small brand and they're truly really focused on sustainability. I don't like their sizing system. They have sizes like I am enough, I am beautiful, whatever, which is like fine. Like every, every size is beautiful. I can't tell you what size I ordered. I think it's a large, potentially an extra large, but look at the size of this thing. If it's an extra large, I believe that's a true extra large. But because a lot of these other brands, which we'll talk about later, I have to order like a 2X in them because they are so, so small. So I like that this brand I think is truer to size than the other brands. I ordered this one and it came really big. So I don't wear it that often because it is quite big on me. It's more of like a, a house lounging bra. Even though it is a racer back, it has zero support when it is this much bigger than it's meant to be on my body. <laughs> so keep that in mind that they are probably truer to size than these other brands that we'll talk about. But this one is really, really comfortable. I think it's a nice lounging bra and I love the brand. Move on to Allbirds. This one, I was honestly quite disappointed in. I thought it was gonna be a little bit more support and it has absolutely zero support. This is a lounging bra only. And again, this is, this is a large. That's gonna be my reaction for all of these brands because like, what do you mean this is a large? I think a lot of these brands think that a size large is around the band and around the shoulders and they don't actually, you know, account for the actual breasts. So while I'd say this is large, like around the rib cage, one with actual large boobs would not fit into this. Keep that in mind if you are large chested. Allbirds probably isn't for you. I don't know how big they go up. I normally wear a size large in shirt anyway, and this barely fits me. It's soft, it's nice. It's got a really nice under underband. It doesn't flip or anything. Adjustable straps, love adjustable straps. I always rate brands highly on that. But overall, a little bit small, not really true to size. Moving on to Whamma, they also have several different brands, different styles of bras. What size is this? A large? This is a large too. And this truly does not fit me. And it is a little snug. It doesn't have that much give around it. So this one is a little bit small. I do, again, love the material. I love the brand. This one, I don't really like this style, but I do really like this style. And this, I had to get in an extra large. But this is another one where they really just think that this, the, the rib band and the shoulders is what makes it an extra large. And they didn't really account for the, the cup size. But I think this is probably one of the better bralettes that we're going to look at today when it comes to sizing correctly. I also like Whamma because they have a lot of fun colors. A lot of eco brands do focus on like neutral colors, but I like Whamma because they have a lot of fun colors. Let's do probably what everybody was thinking about when it comes to eco-friendly bras and that is Girlfriend Collective. And they have so many different styles. We've got this style which is a very thin strap. I would say that's medium support. I feel comfortable hiking in that. I've jogged in it a couple times with no problems, but I wouldn't do a very heavy workout with something like that. They also have this style and this is a truly high support bra. And it is a racer back with adjustable straps and it has um, the clasp back here so you can make it tighter if you want to. I believe this is a large. Oh, never mind. it's a medium. No wonder it's snug on me. True to size, it's gonna be a little bit snug. If you want it to fit snugger and be a high impact bra, I would go a size down. And then this is another style that they have. This is more of like an exercise bralette. This is very, very low support for like yoga or whatnot. I got this one because I worked outside this summer and I'm gonna probably work outside every summer. And when I'm hot and sweaty, I don't wanna wear a very compressive bra, but I still want a sports bra material so that I can breathe and I don't get too sweaty and stinky, but I can still be comfortable by having something looser like a bralette. So I love this one. I wear this one all the time, even indoors all year long, but it's especially nice in the summer. And overall, I love Girlfriend. They are made from recycled materials. They are great for exercising, great for hot weather. Really, really soft, durable. I've had these for years. I love Girlfriend, particularly for work workout bras. And then lastly for today in bras is Nikki. Again, their subset, that's their new name is subset. And for Nikki, I love them for bralettes. This is the first one I've tried. Is this a size large? This is, this is the craziest size large I have ever seen in my life. The under rib band is large. It has adjustable straps. But this cup size, that's not thats not a large. Am I delusional? Like, am I the one who's just confused on bra sizes? I would say that's more of a medium cups, cup size. I don't know. I barely fit in this bra. I don't wear this one that often because it is a little bit small on me. Fits me everywhere else though, so I do love that. Here's another one of their styles that also clasps in the back and has adjustable straps. I believe this is also a large. Nope, I ordered a size up. This is an extra large. And this fits pretty perfectly. So I would size up with Nikki's with subsets bralettes. 
they're so comfortable but just size up because this extra large truly fits me and then i think this one is an extra large as well and this one is my absolute favorite bra of all time <laughs> these are so much easier it's just a slide over your head but it does have adjustable straps it's full coverage it goes like all the way up there's no cleavage and it's so comfortable I could wear this all day long. I think I almost fell asleep in it the other night because I'm like, oh, I forgot to take my bra off to go to bed. That's how comfortable this one is. I think they are great bralettes. They are so comfortable. There's no like riding up underneath. They have adjustable straps, which is fantastic. They're durable, they're high quality. They're so, so soft. I think this is a great bralette. So overall, favorite bralette is from Nikki. Favorite exercise and sports bras are from Girlfriend Collective. And then the other ones, I don't have any negative feelings towards any of them. They're all just okay from Reprise, Wama, and Auburn. That is all that I have for today. I hope that you enjoyed this video, this rapid fire on eco-friendly undergarments on what you should choose and some recommendations. If you have any more recommendations for any eco-friendly underwear or bras, let me know down below. I can try some more out and review them in the future for a part two because there are so many brands out there. This is really just the tip of the iceberg. Yeah, but I hope this gets you started on some eco-friendly undergarment ideas. This is not really talked about on the internet a lot and I think it needs to be because I get this question a lot. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. I will see you in the next video, but until then, remember that your small actions make a big difference in the long run. Bye guys. Thank you for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. I hope that you that I hope that you I'm just going to start over. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you like this video. Thank you so much, especially if you made it I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Did I just say that twice in a row? <laughs> um 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 they're really high quality what do you want um 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 um